Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Here is the first question. Как се казвате? Как се казвате? What's your name? Great. Pay attention that kazvate is actually formal way to say, uh, to ask for somebody's name. Kazvate. The informal way and first person of the verb kazvam se is kazvash. Kak se kazvash. You can ask this to somebody you feel familiar with. How to reply? Very simple. Kazvam se Daria. Kazvam se Daria. My name is Daria. Very simple. And you can also say as sum Daria. I am Daria. Various, various name. You can even forget the um, verb part and ju- just reply with your name. As simple as that. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ще ми липсвате. The next phrase is... Нали ти казах? Нали ти казах? I told you so. Yes, in the egocentric society that we live nowadays, in the 21st century, this is a very common phrase. And of course, everybody likes to say it and nobody likes to hear it. So, um... It probably helps if you don't speak well Bulgarian that if somebody told you Naliti Kazakh, it will just pass through your ear and go the other way. But you can use this phrase yourself if you want to tease somebody. Uče se da gotvia bulgarski jastija. Uče se da gotvia bulgarski jastija. To learn to cook Bulgarian food. Oh, definitely this is something very important, especially for um, my friend who recently got married and I'm gonna say why. It was very important for her to learn how to cook moussaka. First, let me give you the example with this. Tia iska da se nauči da gotvi bogarski jastija. Tia iska da se nauči Da gotvi bulgarski jastija. It's a very simple sentence. Uh, Here is it in English. She wants to learn how to cook Bulgarian uh, Bulgarian food. Why did she want to do that? Because in Bulgarian culture we have the saying. If a woman does not know how to cook a proper moussaka, then she is not eligible for marriage yet. So, one way to uh, look for a wife, test her cooking skills. So, after you've learned the person's birthday, but before you ask them straight for their bank account number, you can ask them this. Kde živeš? Kde živeš? Where do you live? And, of course, they will try to get around the uh, dancer. So, you may get an answer like this. Živeja s prijateli. Živeja s prijateli. I live with friends. Of course, this means leave me alone and don't ask me any more questions, please. But hey, it's better to live with friends, by the way, than with your family. It shows up that you are taking responsibility for your adult life. So great that you're living with friends. Opens the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, uh, read and checked and all that. The next phrase is something you never want to hear from your uh, partner in life. Trebava da se srešteme iz drugih hora. Trebava da se srešteme iz drugih hora. We should see other people as well. Uh, Which means that maybe your partner is not into you or maybe they have changed their philosophy from a monogamous to a polygamous point of view. 
hey, no judging here. Everybody's free to say what they want. But in case you are a monogamous type, this is the last thing you want to hear from your partner. The next phrase I'm going to suggest about things to do in Bulgaria in the summer is my favorite one because I'm a mountain girl and that's where you can find me during the summer. Hiking. Otivam na razhodka v planinata. To go hiking. Yes, and if you want to use this in a sentence, here is how you can say it. Mnogo hora otivat na razhodka v planinata prez počivnite dni. Mnogo hora otivat na razhodka v planinata prez počivnite dni. This is how you say that many people go hiking in the mountains during the weekend. Not only during the weekend, but during the summertime, I will tell you which is the most popular hiking road in Bulgaria. It's the Kom Emine Trail, which runs from the most western part of Bulgaria, most western part of Bulgaria goes straight to the most eastern part, which is Cape Emine. So from peak calm to Cape Emine. It's about 700 kilometers and it will take you 20 days to walk through it. But it is part of a larger uh, road that goes from the Atlantic Ocean, crosses all Europe and ends at the Black Sea. It's a wonderful experience. And it's also the Bulgarian part of it is known as the Friendship Road. Why? Come to Bulgaria and find out why. So. Let's imagine you're back to school and there is a new uh, classmate that you don't know and he or she is super sweet and super cute and you like to meet them and um, uh, all of a sudden you realize that Nije sme v edin isošti klas. Nije sme v edin isošti klas. We are in the same class. Well, that may uh, make things easier for you to get to know one another. Or it can make things very difficult for you and the person you have a crush on. Different people, different ways. The next question may come into conversation if you are outside of Bulgaria somewhere and you meet Bulgarian people or anybody who would like to ask about our country. So the question would be Bili li ste v Bulgaria? Bili li ste v Bulgaria? Have you been to Bulgaria? And in case this conversation is not happening in my country, you can reply Ne, nikoga, no mnogo bih iskala. Ne, Nikoga no mnogo bih iskala. This means no, never, but I would like to very much. However, pay, pay attention that this phrase mnogo bih iskala, I would like to very much, is only if you are a female saying it. If you are a male saying it, you should say mnogo bih iskal. So there is just one letter difference, but it makes the whole uh, change of gender over there. The next word is a very important one because it shows gratitude. Blagodarja. Blagodarja. One word. It means thank you, but the root of the word is blago, which is... Um, Oh, the best, the best things or the nice things. Darya, I'm gifting them to you. Like nice things I'm giving. Um, so you can say blagodarya. But also for people who don't feel um, confident in saying this long word in Bulgarian, it's fine for you to use the French merci because we've stolen that one in our language. And usually if you say blagodarja, you can say right afterwards Pak zapovjadej. Pak zapovjadej. You are welcome. 
and you have the nicest of nicest things in your relationship with the person you have just met. Nice, nice base to work on from then on. Here are the two most important words to reply a yes and no question, which are, which are the words yes and no. Da, da in Bulgarian means yes. Ne in Bulgarian means no. But don't confuse it with the type of nodding because all over the world, this means da and this means ne. But only in Bulgaria, it's vice versa. So this would mean no and this would mean yes. Not ne, da. Why? I can't even tell you. I can't. <laughs> Some psychology thing, sociology, I don't know. Remember the phrase that we've used before? Благодаря добре. Uh, replying to how are you feeling today? Uh, good, thank you. Good. This is the word добре. Добре. This means okay in Bulgarian and it's okay to use it as much as possible. Just because of the good vibration of it. Добре, добре. Another of the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that everybody should know is Izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Yes, people should learn how to use this word as much as possible because, first of all, Bulgarian people rarely use it. Why? If, so, if they step on your foot uh, or they push you or punch you, do something horrible to you, they would say, Opa, they may even crush your car and they will say Opa, which literally is oops. They would not say excuse me, I apologize and they would just go away. Yeah, because uh, we are such people. But really, a lot of people say Opa. Opa, which is, I think it's a Greek word as well. Opa. Opa. Opa, hey. Uh, okay. Another good word to use is Sojalavam. Sojalavam. Now, uh, this means I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, but a lot of people ha ha find difficulty pronouncing the... Now I'm having difficulty speaking. Pronouncing uh, the U uh in the beginning, because we have this sound. U. Uh, U. Uh. The Brazilian people would understand perfectly what I'm talking about because they have this sound, but if you don't, stress on sejalhavam, uh, sejalhavam, it actually makes you, makes your body feel good after you say it, so I'm sorry, use it as much as you can. So you're walking the streets of Sofia or Plovdiv and you have a meeting with a, a local person to show you around. You've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock somewhere, but you don't have a watch. Uh, the phone, the battery on your phone is dead, so there is no way for you to know is it 2 o'clock already or not. Here is a way to ask for it. Колко е часът? Колко е часът? What's the time? Usually, as, a, as an answer, you would get just a number. Two, <laughs> dva, dva časa, tri časa, četiri, and it's useful if you know the Bulgarian numbers. Another very useful phrase, which is definitely among the top 25 Bulgarian phrases you should know, is this one. Kade e toaletnata? Kade e toaletnata? The double O. Okay. Where is the restroom? Um, <laughs> I don't know why, uh, why I feel saying that learning this will open a lot of doors for you. Hopefully it will open a lot of doors for you and you don't have to wait in front of the restroom. But in Bulgaria, there are a lot, a lot of uh, public restrooms around. You can use any cafe or restaurant for this. Uh, and literally, you can just say toilet and they'll understand you because toilet, toaletna, 
Very similar. Here's another phrase. If you hear somebody say, is chakaj te za moment? Is chakaj te za moment? They usually mean, wait a moment. I hope you don't hear this uh, in front of the restroom door, but in case that happens, you know that you have to wait. Hey, sometimes in life you have to wait for the good things to come and to happen to you. So you, you've had a wonderful day sightseeing and you've met the local person and then you enter a souvenir shop, but in the souvenir shop there is no price announced. Now, if that happens, you can ask, Koliko strova tova? Koliko strova tova? How much is this? And again, they'll give you a number as an answer. So it's always handy and good to learn the Bulgarian numbers first. If you need help, ask for it. You can say, Pomošt. Pomošt. Help. Yell it as loud as you can. Pomošt. Pomošt. Um, it's a funny thing that we Bulgarians have been exposed so much to Western movies that almost everybody would know the English version of, of Pomošt, which is help. However, you will sound like a true Bulgarian if you learn Pomošt. We are almost towards the end. It seems proper that I give you two phrases of how to part with people. So, bear with me. Do skoro. Do skoro. Means, uh, see you later. Another word would be do viždane. Do viždane. Goodbye. And... Don't be afraid to use the Italian ciao because it's so short and so easy and everybody uses it. And this is another foreign word that we have stolen and claimed in our, in our Bulgarian language. Ne znam? Ne znam. This is a way of saying I don't know. And in my personal opinion, this phrase can get you out of almost any situation. Whatever they ask you, you just say ne znam and you can add bulgarski at the end of that sentence. For example, ne znam bulgarski. <laughs> and that will be enough for the people to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. If you do know Bulgarian, which you do by watching BulgarianPod101.com, you can just say znam. I know bulgarski, Bulgarian. Znam Bulgarski. I know Bulgarian. Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at BulgarianPod101.com. Zdravej. Zdravej. Hello. How to start? How should we start? I think there's no better way to start but to say Zdravej. <laughs> Zdravej. Hello. Well, hello everyone. Um, zdrave is like an informal way to say it. You can say zdrave te, the formal one. Um, also plural, yeah. You can say zdrave te to multiple people. And also if, um, if you hear that some Bulgarian people say zdrasti, zdrasti, this is the short version of hello. Just hi. Dosan. Yadosan. Anxious. Nespokoen. Nespokoen. Bad. Losh. Losh. Beautiful. Krasif. Krasif. Best. Naidubar. Naidu Best. Naidubar. Naidubar. Big. Gulam. Gulam. Bitter. 
горчив. Горчив. Boring. Отекчителен. Отекчителен. Моля. Моля. Please. Моля. Моля. It's a very important word because it shows politeness. It shows good intention. This is the Bulgarian word for please. Please, also mole means uh, I beg you, I beg of you, but uh, you can also add it to um, any sentence if you would like to request something. And we'll see later on how to use mole. Благодаря. Благодаря. Thank you. The next word is a very important one. Because it shows gratitude. Благодаря. Благодаря. One word. It means thank you. But the root of the word is благо, which is um, all the best, the best things or the nice things. Daria, I'm gifting them to you. Like nice things I'm giving. Um... So you can say благодаря, but also for people who don't feel um, confident in saying this long word in Bulgarian, it's fine for you to use the French merci, because we've stolen that one in our language. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And usually if you say благодаря, you can say right afterwards. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And you have the nicest of nicest things in your relationship with the person you have just met. Nice, nice base to work on from then on. Да. Yes. Here are the two most important words to reply a yes and no question, which are which are the words yes and no. Da, da in Bulgarian means yes. Ne, no. Ne in Bulgarian means no. But don't confuse it with the type of nodding, because all over the world this means da, and this means ne, but only in Bulgaria it's vice versa. So this would mean no, and this would mean yes. Not ne, da. Why? I can't even tell you. I can't. <laughs> Some psychology thing, sociology, I don't know. Boy. Mumche. Mumche. Boyfriend. Priyatel. Priyatel. Bread. Chlab. Chlab. Bus. Autobus. Autobus. Tumen. Delicious. Много вкусен. Много вкусен. Different. Различен. Различен. Difficult. Труден. Труден. Dirty. Мръсен. Мръсен. Discuss. Do scoro. Do scoro. See you later. We are almost towards the end. It seems proper that I give you two phrases of how to part with people. So bear with me. Do scoro. Do scoro. Means uh, see you later. Do vizdane. 
Dovizdane. Goodbye. Another word would be Dovizdane. Dovizdane. Goodbye. And don't be afraid to use the Italian ciao because it's so short and so easy and everybody uses it. And this is another foreign word that we have stolen and claimed in our, in our Bulgarian language. Early. Ranen. Ranen. Easy. Lesson. Lesson. Embarrassed. Smuten. Smuten. Excited. Vasbuden. Vasbuden. Exciting. Vaunuvasht. Vaunuvasht. Expensive. Skup. Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at BulgarianPod101.com. A table for five. Masa zapetima. Masa zapetima. Absolutely. Napouno. Napouno. All right. Razbira se. Razbira se. Are you all right? Dobre li si? Dobre li si? Are you on Facebook? Imaš li Facebook? Imaš li Facebook? Awesome. Strahotno. Strahotno. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. Can I borrow this? Mogu li da vzema tova nazajem? Mogu li da vzema tova nazajem? Can I have a bag, please? Može li turbička, molja? Može li turbička, molja? Can I have a receipt, please? Može li kasovata beleška, molja? Može li kasovata beleška, molja? Can I sit here? Mogu li da sedna tuk? Mogu li da sedna tuk? Can I try it on? Mogu li da go probvam? Mogu li da go probvam? Can you download this file? Možeš li da svališ tozi fajl? Možeš li da svališ tozi fajl? Check. Smetkata. Smetkata. Congratulations. Pozdravlenia. Pozdravlenia. Could I have your attention, please? Može li da vi pomolja za vaše tu vnimanje? Može li da vi pomolja za vaše tu vnimanje? Delicious. Vkusno. Vkusno. Do you need anything? Trebva li ti nešto? Trebva li ti nešto? Do you speak English? Govorite li angliski? Govorite li angliski? Do you understand? Razbiraš li? Razbiraš li? Does this bus go to? Този автобус отива ли до? Този автобус отива ли до? Don't do it. Не го прави. Не го прави. 
Don't mention it. Nego spomenavi. Nego spomenavi. Don't worry. Ne se pritesnjavaj. Ne se pritesnjavaj. Everything is great. Vsičko je čudesno. Vsičko je čudesno. Excuse me, do you know where the is? Извинете, знаете ли къде е? Извинете, знаете ли къде е? Excuse me. Извинете ме. Извинете ме. Go straight ahead. Вървете направо. Вървете направо. Good afternoon. Добър ден. Добър ден. Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Здравей! Здравей! Hello! How to start? How should we start? I think there's no better way to start but to say Здравей! Здраве. Hello. Well, hello everyone. Um, здраве is like an informal way to say it. You can say здравейте, the formal one. Um, also plural, yeah. You can say здравейте to multiple people. And also if, um, if you hear that some Bulgarian people say здрасти, здрасти, this is the short version of hello. Just hi. Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. How do you usually start the day? If you see somebody, you would greet them with Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. This phrase I love a lot because of the vibration of it. Dobro utro. Practice your R's in uh, in this phrase. Also, I like to use it because we're one step ahead um, of our southern neighbors, the Greek people, who don't even have a phrase for good morning. They just start from Kalimera, which is the day. <laughs> I don't know why nobody celebrates the morning over there. We do. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Moving on later in the day. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Now, here's a tricky part because it may be 10 a.m. in the morning, but you can hear a Bulgarian saying Dobar den, which literally is good afternoon, but we use it more as good day to you. So, remember it. Dobar den. Leka nošt. Leka nošt. Good night. When you go to bed, you would hear a Bulgarian person wishing you leka nošt. Leka nošt. This is good night. Good night, good night. I remember a song from my childhood. There was a television show just before the little kids would go to bed. Uh, and the show was called Lekanost Deca, Good Night Children, Deca. And it was about a character named Suncho, Suncho, which is like a sleepy boy. Anyway, memories from my childhood. Moving on. Kak se kazvaš? Kak se kazvaš? What's your name? Now that you've learned how to greet people according to the part of the day your encounter is happening, how to properly introduce yourself? You can ask them for, for their name. Kak se kazvaš? Kak se kazvaš? This is pretty much asking what's your name? You can also make it uh, plural or formal by saying te at the end. Kak se kazva te? What is your name formal? 
And how do we reply to that? Как се казвате? Как се казвате? What's your name? Here is the first question. Как се казвате? Как се казвате? What's your name? Great. Pay attention that казвате is actually formal way to say, uh, to ask for somebody's name. Казвате. The informal way and first person of the verb казвам се is казваш. Как се казваш? You can ask this to somebody you feel familiar with. How to reply? Very simple. Казвам се Дария. Казвам се Дария. My name is Daria. Very simple. And you can also say as some Daria. I am Daria. Various, various name. You can even forget the um, verb part and just reply with your name. As simple as that. Как сте? Как сте? How are you? The next question you should know actually logically follows the first one. Как сте? Как сте? How are you? Right? After you ask for somebody's name, let's ask how do they feel? Uh, again, with this one, remember that как сте is a formal way to ask a person. Or you can ask multiple persons, multiple people. Personas. <laughs> okay, great. Как сте? Turns into как си. This is the informal way of asking how are you. And how do you reply? Here is a sample. Добре съм благодаря. Добре съм благодаря. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, it's a good thing to add the благодаря at the end. It really gives, gives a hint that you are a human being. I encourage you to use благодаря as often as you can. Because in my culture, we don't get to use it a lot. Откъде си? Откъде си? Where are you from? Great! Now that you have found out what's the person's name and how do they feel, you can ask them. Откъде си? Откъде си? Where are you from? Um, and... A possible answer to this could be от Sofia. От Sofia. From Sofia. You can change the location and turn it into Plovdiv, Varna, Ruse, Burgas, or whatever uh, town you are from. But this is how you can ask a Bulgarian person. От къде си? Where are you from? Кога е рожденият ти ден? Кога е Рожденият ти ден. When is your birthday? Another question I really like to ask people because I'm so uh, interested in astrology that I would like right away to know everybody's zodiac sign. Um, maybe that makes me a little bit prejudiced, but hey, I bond with some uh, some signs and some not, so I have to watch out for, for those people. So I will ask, Koga e rozdeniat ti den? Koga e rozdeniat ti den? When is your birthday? It's a phrase that needs a little bit of practice because of a lot of um, zh, d sounds, but uh, you'll get to it very quickly, I am sure. And how do you reply to that? If you don't want to give away your birthday, you can just reply by uh, giving your month of birth. For example, I'm born in February, so I would answer. Prez februari. Prez februari. It's a very similar to February. Februari. Uh, just a little bit of a trick over there in pronunciation, but that means in February. And I, indeed, was born in February. This makes me an Aquarius. Къде живееш? Къде живееш? Where do you live? 
So, after you've learned the person's birthday, but before you ask them straight for their bank account number, you can ask them this. Kde živeš? Kde živeš? Where do you live? And, of course, they will try to get around the, uh, the answer. So, you may get an answer like this. Živeja s prijateli. Živeja s prijateli. I live with friends. Of course, this means leave me alone and don't ask me any more questions, please. But hey, it's better to live with friends, by the way, than with your family. It shows up that you are taking responsibility for your adult life. So great that you're living with friends. Изглеждаш страхотно днес. Изглеждаш страхотно днес. You look great today. Now, it's something that I would like to point your attention on. It's the word страхотно, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word страшно, which is scary. So, Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ste mi lipsvate. Svrši čudesna rabota. Svrši čudesna rabota. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Svrši čudesna rabota. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ti gotviš prevashodno. Ti gotviš prevashodno. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that, even though sometimes you may burn the dish, but your friends are there to support you, so they may be saying, oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ti si prevashodno. Gotvač, ti gotviš prevashodno. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook. So, please, never stop cooking. Ne si li kačila malko kilogrami naposledak? Ne si li kačila malko kilogrami naposledak? Have you gained weight recently? One of the worst phrases that nobody wants to hear is this. Nesi li kačila malko kilogrami naposledak? Nesi li kačila malko kilogrami naposledak? Have you gained weight recently? Not a very good thing to hear, especially if you're a woman. That's why the sentence or the, the phrase has the feminine uh, inclination in it. So, kachila. You can also try to say to a guy, ne si li kachil, malko kilogrami naposledak. But I think for a guy, that's not the worst thing 
uh, they never want to hear. Because, guys, we women are a little more uh, touchy about the subject of weight. Имаш няколко бели косама. Имаш няколко бели косама. You have a gray hair. Another phrase you may not want to hear, and then again, this is very subjective, and I'll tell you why, is this phrase. Имаш няколко бели косама. Имаш няколко бели косама. You have a gray hair. And pay attention then in the Bulgarian uh, version of the sentence, the color of the hair is white. Bely kosama. And then it translates as gray hair in English, which is sieve kosam, gray hair. But uh, if you tell somebody, oh, we have white hair, you know, uh, uh, I've heard this reply and I love saying it back to people. Oh, it's okay that I have white hair. It's my transitioning into a white swan. So there you go again, subjective. It may be the worst thing you hear. It may be not so bad after all. Moving on to the next phrase. Нали ти казах? Нали ти казах? I told you so. The next phrase is Нали ти казах? Нали ти казах? I told you so. Yes, in the egocentric society that we live nowadays, in the 21st century, this is a very common phrase. And of course, everybody likes to say it and nobody likes to hear it. So, um, it probably helps if you don't speak well Bulgarian that if somebody told you Naliti Kazakh, it will just pass through your ear and go the other way. But you can use this phrase yourself if you want to tease somebody. Uvolnen si. Uvolnen si. You are fired. Again, a phrase you don't want to hear is Uvolnen si. Uvolnen si. You are fired. Um, of course, if you love your job, that's the worst thing you want to hear. The last thing you want to hear is Uvolnen si. However, is it may make somebody extremely happy that they're finally fired because soon they'll be hired. That's what it's on my mind. When one door closes, another one opens, such as the world, the blow of the universe. Причината не е в теб, а в мен. Причината не е в теб, а в мен. It's not you, it's me. Moving on to the next phrase that you don't want to hear. Причината не е в теб, а в мен. Причината не е в теб, а в мен. It's not you, it's me. What are your associations when you hear this, right? You never trust this sentence because it implies that it's actually you <laughs> that have the fault. The fault is on you, the guilt. But um, and you don't have to worry about hearing this in Bulgaria because nobody will say it this way. They will directly say, it's your fault. So it's you, it's not me. <laughs> to travel abroad. If you ask a random Bulgarian of how he or she would prefer to spend his or her time in the summer, he or she will probably answer, go abroad. Patuvam v chusbinam to travel abroad. Well, yeah, there's something in our culture that now that we can travel more freely, now that we're in the European Union, we do take advantage of visiting Italy, Greece, and so on and so forth. It's just so easy because it's right there. Uh, however, many other people do not uh, travel or have never been outside the frontier, like my grandmother. Moja te baba nikoga ne je potovala v čužbina. Mojata baba nikoga ne e potovala v čužbina. My grandma has never traveled abroad. Which is somewhat true about my grandmother because she constantly watches this travel channel 
And if I call her on a random day and ask her, hey, grandma, how you doing today? She would reply, hey, hi, I've been to Mexico and Guatemala and Costa Rica this afternoon. How about you? Well, grandma, this may count, but you don't have magnets from the places you've been. Ha ha. So, Daria, grandmother, one to zero. Pochivam si na plaza. Pochivam si na plaza. To relax at the beach. Another popular response you might get from a Bulgarian about their free time in the summer would definitely be go to the beach. But not just go, relax on the beach. Potivam si na plaza, to relax at the beach. Here is an example of this phrase in a sentence. Istinskata pochivka e kogato si potivam na plaza. Istinskata pochivka e kogato si potivam na plaza. It's a true holiday when I'm relaxing on the beach. This is true for so many people. And by the way, you can be very sure that you can have a relaxing vacation in Bulgaria because we don't have sharks in the Black Sea. There you go. Uče bulgarski jezik z bulgarianpod101.com Uče bulgarski jezik z bulgarianpod101.com to learn Bulgarian with BulgarianPod101.com Another use of your time in the summer is to do something practical and to get a new skill. Uh, improving your skills is something very important. Like, uče bulgarski jezik z BulgarianPod101, like you're doing right now. Uče bulgarski jezik z BulgarianPod101 To learn Bulgarian with Bulgarian Pod 101. And the next example in a sentence is a tribute to you, the viewers. Možete da naučite bulgarski jezik s bulgarianpod101.com Možete da naučite bulgarski jezik s bulgarianpod101.com you can learn Bulgarian language with BulgarianPod101.com. Yes, it's as simple as that. Just subscribe and keep on watching videos like this. By the way, you're going to learn a lot of fun facts about Bulgaria in this one. Stay with me. Uče se da gotvija bulgarski jastija. Uče se da gotvija bulgarski jastija. To learn to cook Bulgarian food. Uče se da gotvija bulgarski jastija. Uče se da gotvija bulgarski jastija. To learn to cook Bulgarian food. Oh, definitely this is something very important, especially for um, my friend who recently got married and I'm gonna say why. It was very important for her to learn how to cook moussaka. First, let me give you the example with this. Tia iska da se nauči da gotvi bulgarski jastija. Tia iska da se nauči da gotvi bulgarski jastija. It's a very simple sentence. Uh, here's it in English. She wants to learn how to cook Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarian food. Why did you want to do that? Because in Bulgarian culture, we have the saying, if a woman does not know how to cook a proper moussaka, then she is not eligible for marriage yet. So one way to uh, look for a wife, test her cooking skills. Organiziram barbecue. Organiziram barbecue. To have a barbecue. Organiziram Barbecue. To have barbecue. Yes, you may not be a sophisticated cook as my friend to cook a whole dish of moussaka or kapama, but barbecue is much simpler and it gives you the benefit to be outside to cook delicious food and to share it with as many friends as you have. So here's an example of how to use this phrase in Bulgarian. Vnedelja ste organizirame barbecue. Vnedelja 
ще организираме барбекю. We will organize a barbecue on Sunday. By the way, here's a bonus to, uh, to this phrase. I'm going to give you the Bulgarian word for barbecue, which is skara. So with skara, every day is a Sunday here in Bulgaria. Welcome. Every day is a skara day. Slunchy uchila. Sunglasses. Slunchy uchila. Sunglasses. And here is a phrase for you. Tia si chupi slunchy uchila. Tia si chupi slunchy uchila. She broke her sunglasses. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world because wherever you look at the Bulgarian seaside, you will find sunglasses sold everywhere. They may not be original, but hey, it's an emergency, so I guess five euro per pair of decent sunglasses would, uh, would do the job, right? <laughs> Plus, beach. Another word that you will need for when you go to the beach is the word beach itself. Plash, beach. And here is an example of how we can use this word. Хайде да отидем на плажа. Хайде да отидем на плажа. Let's go to the beach. Well, Definitely learn that one in case you have some people who like to be lazy and they don't uh, want to catch the early um, sun rays, which are the best for you, I've heard. Because the longer you wait, um, and if you go to the beach around noon, it gets very bad for your skin. And some things like melanoma can happen. So avoid this. And... Push your friends and uh, family to go to the beach with this phrase. Хайде да отидем на плажа. Come on, come on, chop, chop, хайде. Let's go to the next word. Плувам. Swim. Плувам. Swim. Плувам. I hope you can swim. Uh, here is the question you can ask your friends if they can swim. Можеш ли да плуваш? Можеш ли да плуваш? It's a very good question, is especially if you and your friends decide to rent a boat for the day and uh, in case somebody cannot swim, you, you would of course like to know that so that you don't have any emergencies later. So can you swim? Можеш ли да плуваш? Let's find out. Слънце Sun. The next word that you will need for the beach is one of my favorite words. Not because it's a little bit hard to pronounce, but it's because it's the source of life on this planet Earth. Slunce. Sun. Slunce tu se skri zat oblaka. Slunce tu se skri zat oblaka. The sun disappeared behind the cloud. Hey, believe it or not, the sun wants a break from us human beings too. <laughs> so it, hit, it hides behind clouds, which is good for you as well, because you are not directly burned when you lie on the beach in your swimsuit and um, you get a tan. But be very careful because even through clouds, you can burn. A little less, but still. Palma. Palm tree. Great. So when you are at the beach and the sun is shining very hard, slunce, then it's a good thing to find a palm tree to hide underneath and use the, sh the shade of the palm tree. So here's the next word. Palma. Palm tree. Uh, here's an example of how you can use this word in a sentence. Палмите не могат да оцелеят през студената зима. Палмите не могат да оцелеят през студената зима. A fact. Palm trees cannot survive during the cold winter. And sometimes in Bulgaria we do have cold winters. Uh, what we don't have in Bulgaria usually is palm trees. 
However, you can see them now, they're very popular at the seaside um, because some cruel people want to do cruel things to the poor palm trees. However, they get around it by wrapping them in plastic wrap so that they can survive the cold winter. And not only at the seaside, but ask the mayor of my hometown, Plovdiv, that is in the middle of Bulgaria. No sea around it, but hey, we do have palm trees. Palma. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.